Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here. Welcome back to Project Hospital. We're continuing now with our second day of uh, building in our original clinic to eventually make it into a large functioning hospital. It's pretty cool here, so doctors in the house and ready to roll as we now need to make some very big expanses in order to make our clinic better and um, to basically treat more people. Uh, people and, and to do more for the, the community basically and to be able to make more diagnoses of uh, complex conditions and of course to make money. So if you'd like to see more of this make sure you go ahead and click or tap that like button and let me know you want to see more. I did a little bit of beautification of our, uh, well just a little bit of our uh, fair little clinic that we're going to be expanding over here today and also to put nice little decorations around including trees and a few other things so it looks very beautiful. We've got street lights out there, a nice parking lot, a clinic for now but a hospital tomorrow. So let's get to it then. We need to treat 20 patients per day, open a clinic at radiology, and treat one patient per day in the general surgery department. So we're getting working on that right away. Let's go ahead and take a look now at our clinic and see how things are working. Wow, there's a lot of people in here. We have uh, three doctors working away at uh, treating patients, and uh, we could add more to our uh, rooms very soon. But uh, right now we're a very basic clinic, so uh, we need to continue to expand upon uh, the ability to serve the people of our uh, great city or our great uh, nation or wherever we happen to be. We need to fit their needs. So uh, what I've been going with traditionally is a six by six room, and we've got a lot of people here who are uh, in need of medical assistance. The faster we can treat them, the more money we make from government loans and uh, or ra rather grants, free money essentially to do our jobs. So let's get started with that right away. Then we're going to make a six by six building here in order to uh, accommodate more uh, patients. But also, you know, what we should do is uh, before we even do that, let me go ahead and expand upon one very important room, and that's this waiting room here. This waiting room, very very important uh, to get past. Uh, patients in here. I keep saying passengers, but patients. We need to get them in here uh, to be able to be treated. So let's go ahead and expand on the waiting room here. And we're going to add some more chairs over there for more people to sit down and, of course, uh, take a load off as they wait uh, for, you know, their treatment or a uh, prescription or whatever uh, they may need. So in order to accomplish that, let's go ahead and click on the waiting room uh, feature, add some more benches too. People can sit down at each bench, so that's very helpful. It's going to get crowded in here, but I guess that's uh, no unusual factor with an actual hospital. So hopefully uh, with four more uh, people being able to be accommodated, that should be good. Now, I'm a real stickler for getting everything uh, perfect carpet-wise. I, I seem to really enjoy laying down all the t different types of tile and color coordinating everything according uh, to how it's going to be laid out. So when you design the hospital, you'll know, oh, this blue area is waiting, this green area is for just general passage, uh, white areas are for doctors, and anything with like a gray or yellow tile is for... Uh, running tests on uh, stool samples, urine, blood, whatever, and also the radiology department. Now, we're going to need to, uh, first and foremost, just accommodate more patients, so that way we can get free money for that. And in this game, there's no consequence at this very moment for going bankrupt. We're going to try to avoid it as much as possible, but in the future game, it'll be uh, you'll be challenged uh, in order to do this uh, without causing too much trouble. What we can do here is put an elevator, I think, uh, in this space on this side, and I think what we'll do is we'll try to, I think I'm going to try to put, a, give a little bit of room here so we can have some windows on either side. So let's go ahead and do a 6x6 six six here. Let's actually go one more space. Let's do a 6x6 six six here. So 6 by, oh, am I not, uh, I must be on the wrong floor. Uh, oh, you know what, actually, I forgot. We need to lay down a foundation first to do that. So that'll be helpful. There we are, 6 by. Uh, six right there, perfect. And then we can now build our little clinic on top of that. So let's go ahead and add our, uh, or onto our clinic, I should say. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and not maximize space and just go for design of the clinic now and solve any of our other problems later. It's probably not a bad idea to have all these uh, rooms laid out like this for now. And in fact, we might want to actually add another clinic on here too, because we just seem to be burning through uh, with patients. There's a lot of people who just need general treatment. Uh, you know, small sicknesses such as. Um, you know, common cold, uh, stomach ache, that kind of thing. And they get, you know, they get a little nervous and say, hey, doc, is there anything unusual with me? And the doctor, of course, will say, no, you're just fine. You know, take uh, this type of medication and you'll be okay, or whatever the case may be, whatever the diagnosis may be. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, prepare to add on to our uh, little uh, corridor here. We can also buy ambulances, too, which is really cool. Now, as you can see, we're already out of money. Uh, I don't know if in the in the game there'll be a, a future uh, for building onto uh, your capital by taking out loans. I don't know if that'll be a thing, but this game is available October 30th of uh, 2018, so make sure that you uh, add this one to your wish list if it piques your interest. And there's a lot they got to do in this game. It's not perfect, nowhere near finished, and I don't expect it to be, but it's so far so good and very enjoyable. All right, we'll put the corridor down here. This allows patients and uh, doctors to walk through here, so 
so long as they have clearance. Uh, in other words, they're allowed to walk on this floor so long as a nurse has approved them or okayed them to walk down this far. Let's go ahead and add to the uh, GP here. These are going to be the uh, general practitioners, practitioners' offices. And let's go ahead and put down a couple of doors. Now, I think I'm going to try to mirror these as much as possible to the other rooms. So we'll just try to build these like this. Now, there's certain equipment that we need to put in these rooms in order to make them functional. Obviously, uh, the doctors are going to need uh, as much as possible from the uh, patients in order to uh, do whatever they need to do. Are these the correct tiles here? That seems a little different. I want kind of like a blue tile, maybe. Let's try this instead. Mm, that seems to be the same white tile. Oh, was I going with this tile? Maybe it's this one. I, I tried to get everything laid out. It's much easier to... Uh, you know, lay out your hospital if you keep everything pretty much the same. Okay, now, the cool thing about this game, what I really like, is when you click on a room and you've designated it to be a, a GP, General Practitioner's Office, it immediately brings up all the things that are needed for that room. So, for example, the, uh, you know, the examination table, that kind of thing, all of that stuff pops up. We're going to reverse this order here. I'm going to try to mirror it as much as possible. It seems to be one over from the door. So I think uh, putting it here and here. And then we're going to have to put down a biohazard bin next to the door. Uh, which is on this side. So you can actually see us pretty much lay out the hospital uh, essentially the same way as it's laid out on either side. It's mirrored. That would be the technical term. Uh, let's see. Do we want office desk? I think uh, we have two different styles of that. Uh, looks like that has to be across from the uh, patient over here. I think the window needs to be on that side. Oh, boy. This is going to be... I guess we don't need... It. We can always move it later if it's goofed up. That's the cool thing is that this game does allow you to pretty much move anything at any time so long as, uh, you know, so long as you can actually uh, click on it. Okay, we need a PC for both sides. This is now, of course, so the doctors can uh, print prescriptions or enter uh, patient information or the nurse can do so. Uh, anything that needs to be uh, done in order to uh, in order to complete the uh, diagnosis or whatever they may need to do. All right, let's go ahead and get these equipment down. We're going to go for the other test, which is the uh, C CRP scan. Uh, that just seems to be a basic thing. That seems to be the best uh, thing to put in there. Uh, let's see. I think the only other thing that we're going to need in there is uh, just a general table that I put down there for additional equipment and also the light at, uh, over the top. So let's go with the medical light and I think we're making that blue, light blue, and so we'll hang that over the top of the patient here and here so the doctor can see if there's any sort of wounds or whatever or whatnot, get a better look at the patient. And then the last thing is the sink. That is another thing that they need in order to wash their hands according to our medical policies here. All right, there we go. That should be it for these rooms. Aside from the equipment table, we'll just toss that in there, and we'll get a couple of doctors assigned uh, to help out these patients. Very good. Very, very good. All right, so I think that's it then. Uh, it says missing equipment, so we might be missing something else. We have the sink. Uh, ta oh, you know what? We need a thing hanging on the... Yeah, we need some sort of an informational... They all have their different requirements, so there needs to be an informational thing hanging there. All right, let's get the staff in here. Let's hire a couple of doctors. Um... Go ahead and hire Dr. Brown and Dr. Uh, Dr. Brown and Dr. Paging Doctor. Paging Doctor who? Doctor who? No, not that doctor. The, a different doctor. How about Dr. Foster? There we are, Jody Foster. All right. Now we're negative $5,000 in the hole, so you can see that there's uh, pretty much a big tendon. It's going to be really cool. At the start of this game, I could see it being very picky about you know, you having to be very small and be very meticulous about how you lay things out. I think that's really cool, like being very cautious in how you design things, being very efficient in how you design things. I like that a lot. Um, we have an area for our possible future elevator, or we could put it over here when we have our, uh, when we take up all of our space. we got plenty of space to build on, though. We can, in fact, have our corridor snake up this way and go down here and put some more rooms on this side. So we've got more area to expand over here on the right side. And then, of course, over here on the left side, too. So, actually, this corridor could come to a T and go down and up and then circle back if needed. All right, lots of patients here today. Hopefully, they're, they're patient patients. Uh, we got five doctors here working now. That is great. And it's really good that we have all these people working here. Now, one thing I haven't been able to figure out yet is um, open clinic at radiology. Now, um, well, my assumption here is that... Uh, if, for example, someone comes in with, uh, let's say, they believe they fractured their hand, so they're in the waiting room, the doctor calls them in, uh, they ask them a couple of questions, the doctor then says, well, we'll need an x-ray, I would then assume that a nurse or possibly the doctor would bring them to the x-ray table where they could then take a, a hand x-ray or whatever needs to be x-rayed and then get that information back in order to, you know, give them a cast or, you know, tell them, here, just put this, um, you know, put this small uh, brace on for a couple of weeks, take these painkillers, and you'll be okay, that kind of thing. 
And now I'm just not sure if that's how that works or if there needs to be a specific waiting room for each department. In the lower left corner, you see that we have an emergency department, intensive care unit, general surgery department, and radiology. So I'm not sure if when we click on radiology, if that's specific to actually building that clinic. I'm not exactly sure how everything works just yet, but I do know that we can't have a radiology room without actually clicking on, boom, radiology, which then I think means that they need a specific waiting room for that. And then does there need to then be a general practitioner room for that? It doesn't seem so, but it seems like they might need a waiting room for that. So I think we might need to actually build one of those very soon. But since we're in negative money, we may as well just hold off. We have our x-ray room for now, but it'll be good to see if we need to build a separate waiting room for that, which means at a larger hospital, as you may have seen this before, there's waiting rooms everywhere. Waiting rooms outside of uh, intensive care units, general hospital rooms, outside of surgery rooms. Um, but that's usually for, like, loved ones, not necessarily the patient themselves. Uh-oh. We have code red? Doctor? Oh, never mind. So somebody just running tests. We have a lot of patients here, and these patients are not being met with the... Uh, these patients are not being met with some of the doctors for some reason. Uh, we have these doctors here who are working in the emergency department uh, with this waiting room, but it doesn't seem like these two doctors are doing any sort of thing for these patients. I see these three are meeting with patients all the time, but these two are kind of just chilling out and not actually meeting with the very large number of patients that we have here, unless for w some reason they're in a queue. Perhaps the programming makes it so that way they're meeting with those doctors first because they already existed instead of uh, diverting the new patients over to the two new doctors. I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work, but you have the lab tech doing all sorts of different... Oh, here we are. Ah, there they go. They're calling on patients now. Ah, there we are. Perfect. Okay. So we uh, just treated... Oh, boy. A lot of people went home. That's a shame. But at least we did get 15 out of 21 patients, and uh, we did uh, add on to our hospital rooms or our uh, examination rooms, so that's really good. Okay. Now, I think somebody did suggest recently that we should hire a nighttime... Uh, uh, janitor, so that might be a good idea. So let's do that. To have a janitor day and night, that's definitely going to be a good thing. Uh, let's have Mary Jackson come in here. Mary, you can work night, and that's going to be great. Okay, so now we have a staff for uh, daytime and nighttime. Fantastic. And they should be able to clean throughout the night, too. Wow, look at how messy that reception area is. My goodness. Wow, we might actually need multiple uh, cleaning staff. This is just one small clinic, so I wouldn't imagine this amount of foot traffic like this, but it seems to be the case. Wait a minute. Where's our where's our nighttime janitor? What? Nighttime janitor none? You have no workspace. What? Hold on, this doesn't make sense. Daytime is Jordan Barkley, nighttime is none. How do we not have a... This is interesting. We, I, I'm trying to hire a nighttime staff. Night shift. Yes. Hire John Johnson. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Well, again, it's alpha, so if anything's broken, it's just on the game. That's okay. All right, so employee has no workspace. Go to Frank Cole. Frank's not even here. He's at home. Well, pr probably because he has no workspace. Uh, let's go ahead and dismiss. He hasn't done anything wrong. That's on me. So, um, All right, so now we actually have our nighttime staff doing the cleaning. That's great. A lot less foot traffic, a lot easier to clean things. So that's good. He's got a little bit of time to clean. Boy, clean up that reception area, please. Please, it's a mess. Oh, it looks like someone tipped over a potted plant and then some baby crawled all around the uh, waiting room with it you know that that stranger things have happened okay so we've got two clinics here so now we have five gp offices general practitioners who can take patients throughout the day so we can meet with five patients per day plus the ability to run uh, more advanced um, tests which is going to be really cool and i hope we can actually do some more ad advanced uh, you know screenings or whatever with patients to give them other diagnoses so Looks like the clinic is very clean. Very, very clean. I like that. Um, let's go ahead and make a waiting room then for the... Uh, actually, if if I build rooms, it slows down time. So let's wait that. Employee got fired. What? That was... Who got fired? Employee got fired. Employee will leave as soon as they're finished with the current procedure. Uh, that must have been me. Employee has no workspace. Oh, that's weird. I don't think anyone got fired. Well, I did, I did something. Whatever. All right. Well, let's move on here. Actually, it said missing something. Missing equipment. Oh, what? Are these guys taking the work bin home at night? What's going on? I've had to buy this multiple times. Yeah, where they where they take this thing with them, the the bucket cart. It's actually in there right now. Are are people stealing the bucket cart? What's going on? I'll put another one in there. What's going on? Oh, it's right out there. 
Oh, it's missing equipment because oh, he's blocking the door with it. A, d a disgruntled employee has blocked the door into the into the hospital. How did he manage to do that? Because that's the only way out of there, unless he busts through a window. How did he manage that? He would have had to have, because that door probably opens. Well, either way, maybe I don't know. That's actually very funny. Okay, let's wait till daytime now. So our next goal is to treat 20 patients, then we'll move on to figuring out the waiting room at the clinic for the radiology, and then finally treating one patient per day at the general surgery department. Now, I've seen that before where the general surgery department, uh, the problem with that is that you need to uh, have a patient that actually requires surgery. So you can build that department, but unless somebody requires a general surgery, uh, you won't ever complete that one, and you know, it's, who knows when that's going to happen. Okay, so now we're uh, speeding up here. We're about to start our shift again. Employees should arrive about within an hour. I do like that you can hear traffic and everything. I wonder I wonder what this area here is for. I think this might be for the ambulance to drop off patients. But um, I think you can move that and put that anywhere you want. Uh, and you can't get ambulance missions until you actually buy one. So it's not really that big of a deal. A couple things I'd like to see is uh, actual moving traffic. I think that'd be kind of cool to see. Uh, Frank Foster, of course. Ah, let's, let's, I was against getting rid of Frank before, but let's just go ahead and do that. Frank didn't get fired. He's just like, it was my bad. That's fine. Frank didn't do anything wrong. Frank's innocent. All right. Let's try to treat 20 patients today now, and I think we can do this. All the doctors are in here. I don't understand why that little thing is out there. Can I move that back into the... Cl I can't actually move this, can I? For whatever reason, it's just stuck there now, so I guess that'll have to be something that they uh, pick up in the future for... Uh, I think it's because I fired an employee, but I didn't mean to fire the employee. Oh, now they now they move it. What the? Oh, I don't know. How do we have two daytime cleaning staff? Shouldn't we have one day and night? Wow, things are getting complicated. All right, well, patients are in here, and uh, we're now already treating most of our most of our people. I hope to not see that waiting room very full. I hope to see it uh, pretty empty in there. Uh, looks like there's three people there now. Doctors are pretty much full with everyone being in the room. Very nice. Okay, very good. Well, everybody's running tests and doing what they're supposed to. Oh, wow, the clinic's actually getting very full. Four out of four people have been treated now, uh, or at least diagnosed. Cured slash total patients. So I suppose when they leave, they're cured, even if you give them uh, a prescription for something that may take a few weeks to actually cure. Um, if you've ever been to the doctor before and they give you a prescription, usually they just say, oh, you won't need to renew this, take this for a week or two, and you should be fine. Especially if it's some sort of like topical cream or uh, just something where it's just like a general uh, general pill to alleviate some sort of pain. And they don't tell you to return unless there's discomfort. Okay, well, the hospital is just looking fantastic. I, l I love to see these people coming in and out of here. And I can't wait until we expand upon uh, the clinic a little bit more. Complicated diagnosis. All right, Sarah Anderson has a complicated diagnosis. And speaking of, oh, iron deficiency. Interesting. Um, let's see. The e ECG or the micro la la blah 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 blah. I don't even know what that is. Re uh, required room stat lab. Um, we do have that. Why can't we run that test though? We might need a specific machine for that. Let's see what we can do here at the stat lab and see if we can get something to run that test. Uh, let's see. Lab analyzer. I think we have one of these. Do we not? Yes, we do. Uh, there's got to be one machine that we don't have that needs to run that test. Um, I wish it would tell us the required machine for that. Thermal cylinder uh, used to, oh, something, something chain reaction, mobile EQ cabinet. Hmm, microscope maybe? Uh, oh, you know, we got that. Wow, we have pretty much everything that's needed to run tests here. Hermit, hermitology, uh, I think we have one of those, don't we? Uh, is that for that? Let's see, Stat Lab provides wide spectrum to blood sample analysis methods. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, RIA measures different antigen concentrations. I uh, just want to see if we have one of those in there already. Yep, that's on this side. Hmm. Well, I can't give her a diagnosis without some more equipment. We have glassware here used to prepare different samples. Uh, do we have that type of glassware? Yes, it's over on the other side. Wait, no, over here maybe. Okay, let's see if we can provide that test now to her. Uh, let's see. Ah, oh, there we are. The meta, my uh, whatever. I don't know. I don't know the. I don't know how to say it, but I do know that we're going to take a scrape of her nail fungus and whatever else and see what exactly is in there. Gross, but it is so cool that essentially what they do is they'll take a little scrap scrape of it, try to grow whatever it may be, and then uh, 
then try to figure out what it is. Diagnosis complete. All right. T turned out to be good. Oh, wait. Never mind. Oh, was it not that? Crumbly nail? 36. Oh, still, still not it. Crumbly nail. Well, iron deficiency means uh, that we'll have to do a uh, different type of test for that. Antifungal ointment for athlete's foot. What's the ECG? Electrocardiography. Oh, really? For what? For iron deficiency? Well, that doesn't make sense because the other machine is the... Uh, Whatever else the other thing is. Let's see what else she might need. EMG? No, that's for mus muscular. Uh, let's see. Ventilation of expired air. That's not it. Uh, let's see. Oxygen tank privacy screen. That'd be a cool one uh, to put in there. I think we need another test over here. I think we might need the hermitology then if we're going to take a blood sample from her. So let's put the... Uh, where is that thing? It was up here somewhere. Uh, lab analyzers. Uh, no, that's not it. Ah, here we are. Hermatology analyzer. Hematolo hematology. Not sure on the pronunciation, but I do know a few things about how it works. ECG, though. Electrocard... Do, do we have an ECG machine? It's specifically called an ECG machine, so we better make sure we got that. ECG. I think I've seen that somewhere before. Let's just see if... We, EMG. Okay. I don't see an ECG machine. Hmm. Don't want to move that. Let's see. ECG. Might be a different machine that runs that test. They could call it something else. Well, I'm not sure. I'd hate to turn a patient away. Um, we don't get any bonus points for not doing that. Interview fungal culture. It seems like that's actually currently running. Uh, required room stat lab. We have that going. That's how we were able to run that test. Um, I'm going to go with probably a, f a nail fungus for her. Um controlled by doctor. Let's try to run with that. I don't I'm not exactly sure. Complicated diagnosis again for Mark. Okay. Uh, let's see. Bacterial tonsillitis or viral tonsillitis. So either way, same thing. Let's go for microbiology uh, testing. It looks like we got nasal congestion, red swollen tonsils, headache, ORL findings, uh, spectrum cough and a painful painful lymph nodes. Uh, bacterial. Yeah, I think I've had that before. And there's not really much they can do aside from just giving you medi medication of some sort. A lot of times it could be strep throat, that type of thing. All right, I think we run the test on him. It's interesting. We don't see, we don't seem to get feedback on whether or not this, the test was a success or if that was actually the, uh, actually the outcome. Um, looks like he's about fifty-two percent on the bacterial antibiotics or rest looks like it's 52 percent let's go with that I, i'm not entirely certain but we're definitely going to need more equipment oh ear examination is the other thing how would we do that wouldn't we would just need that simple stethoscope for that oh electro elastograph what is that spectral uh used to measure oh soft tissues oh that's interesting these might be for different departments though mm, let's see expired air audiometer that's hearing functions, but I don't know if that's the same thing as... I think what we're looking to do there is to uh, lick, look into his ear with that little tool that allows you to see inside the, uh, the eardrum to see if it's swollen or whatnot. But I'm not exactly sure of how to do a lot of these tests, but um, well, we'll learn as we go on. The doctors should know more than me. They're coming to me. I'm, I'm, I'm designing the hospital and hiring staff, and they're coming to me being like, Hey, what do you think this is? I don't know. You're the one who went to college for this, not me. All right, let's see. Uh, 30 patients per day is our next treatment level. And we were already treating 21, so that's great. And we it's just the end of the day now. Doctors did a really good job of getting everyone uh, through here. We had 22 patients, uh, and only two, only three of them couldn't be cured, which makes me wonder if we could do better of uh, curing them. I think we should buy more equipment to make sure everything's good to go, but oh well, all with good time. All right, let's work on one last thing. Uh, let's go ahead and make a waiting room for the... Uh, actually, let's make a waiting, waiting room back here. Um, I, I got an idea. Let's do this. Let's put down a foundation here for a waiting room. We'll make this a 6x6 six six wait, 5x6 uh, waiting room? No, we'll do a 6x6 six six waiting room. Actually, wait a minute. Shouldn't these rooms be... Wait a minute. Is one of these rooms smaller than they should have been? Hold on a second. I'm going to be... I'm going to be triggered. 6x6, six six, good. 6x6, six six, good. Oh, I know why. Because we went over one level because we were adding uh, extra room. Oh, I should have went down one more then. That's okay. All right, we'll make a, a waiting room here for the uh, radiology department. 
And actually, uh, this will be for our corridor, corridor that'll go down this way and down this way. So that'll be a fu future for our hospital. So let's go ahead and add some walls on. And we'll worry about making sure the walls are the correct size and color and whatnot later. Uh, let's demo this wall here. And we'll put a barrier or a pillar down. We can actually put down some pretty cool pillars uh, to kind of uh, mark areas like that. I'm going to put a waiting room here then for our uh, radiology department. So let's go back to radiology and we're going to make ourselves a waiting room. So let's divvy that off. So we'll make ourselves a waiting room for the radiology department here. It doesn't need to be as big, but so I am assuming somebody will come in here at reception and if they need an x-ray they can just they'll be es escorted right back here from from staff to that area. Okay, and then we uh, can go back to emergency uh, corridor and these should be able to link up like that. People should be able to go back this way. Okay, very good. So now um, let's go ahead and add on to our emergency room or our waiting room. Uh, we'll make this one uh, yellow. Let's make it yellow carpeting for the waiting room next to the uh, radiology department. I think I have a yellow floor there as well, so it kind of fits. And let's click on waiting room for this. So we'll uh, yeah, we'll put some benches over here, and I think we'll put. Maybe a vending machine here, too. I wouldn't imagine too many people needing to come back to this section. Can we put down a pillar of some sort or a support beam? That's one cool thing I want to put down. There we are. Wide pillar or round pillar. Oh, perfect. We'll put one pillar there. Um, maybe hang something on that, like a TV or something, informational TV uh, for our guests. There we are. We'll put one over here, too. All right. And then a Q machine. I don't think we necessarily need staff back here for some of this stuff. Uh, but we will put our typical water dispenser and maybe a mirror. <laughs> Why not? Okay, so that should function there and work for the radiology department. And then we'll just put down the flooring for the rest. Uh, I think that's going to require us to go to flooring green-ish. We want that greenish flooring. Uh, that's for walls, tiling, green. There we go. Oh, well, that's blue. My bad. There we go. Perfect. All right, so now our hospital should look pretty good. It won't match from the outside, but let's take a look. Uh, we're, we're still going to have to put brick around this side once I've completed uh, connecting the hospital all together, the clinic. Obviously, we would probably design this all at once, but there goes the staff home for the night. i got to block this off. <laughs> I don't like people walking that way. I wish they'd take uh, their cars home, but I guess uh, no need to do that since everybody, I guess, lives close enough to the hospital. There's the janitorial staff for the night. Whoa. All right, very good. I think we've made some really good progress here today. We've added some more offices. We've uh, put an emphasis on our uh, main waiting room here, and uh, we can even expand upon it if we need to. Uh, we have room for a bigger janitorial closet and uh, possible elevators maybe towards here at the end somewhere. And I think we'll be able to serve people at the radiology clinic. There hasn't been yet a need for us to have a patient at the radiology clinic, so hopefully the need comes up soon. Next goal then is to treat 30 patients per day. Hopefully we can do that. As our uh, doctors become more skilled, they should be able to complete diagnoses and also uh, be able to uh, do it without my help. And also with good equipment. We'll need to make sure our equipment is gooder because the gooder the better. All right, let's make sure anything that we don't have we purchase. I want to make sure I've got everything that we need uh, to be able to run all the tests that might be possible. Uh, an RIA we have. I got all the other equipment there. Just want to make sure any other tests that I may have missed we take account for. Lab analyzer we've got. I think I actually have all the machines here. I just missed out on that one, so that should be okay. Uh, glassware I think we've got. Oh, we can even paint the walls and stuff too. Oh, cool. On the outside we can put a, a little bit of uh, logos for some sort of things. Very cool. CT room, uh, cardiology, or we can just label stuff however we want to. What is this thing? Yeah, okay. So there's all sorts of different labels for everything. If, if we want to label our hospital, uh, we can put logos outside of every room so you can have the radiology department properly marked. Uh, you can have the uh, the general practitioner's rooms marked. Very cool. All right, everyone, that is my time here for today. If you want to see the clinic continue to grow, make sure you continue to support by hitting that like button. I like this game a lot. And uh, we're once we've added a couple more GP rooms, I think we're going to go on to building ourselves into a bigger hospital. We'll see if we can get ourselves an emergency ward for uh, the ambulance to arrive, possibly our first surgery rooms, and big, big money. We've definitely made some money so far. We're a one-star clinic, but we will work our way up as we suddenly start to hire much more staff in order to get things done. Leave your kind comments and suggestions down below, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.